So in my last video, I showed you how these weird looking images, this is a Facebook ad uh, generated for us $70,000 in profit or $119,000 in revenue. This is from ClickBank and this is an affiliate offer. So we've spent here 42,000 on ads on Facebook and we've made $119,000. And I showed you the exact step-by-step -step system how this is set up. So today this is gonna be a follow-up video for to the last one and I'm going to show you how to scale this even further I'm going to show you how to scale on Facebook how to scale your ads and get more profits out of your ads basically so if you haven't watched this video I'm gonna post a link below this this one in the YouTube comments uh, but briefly to summarize just in a nutshell what I'm talking about so this is a affiliate offer from Clickbank this is where is Clickbank here here we are this is Clickbank and this offer is pretty unique because it's about how you can produce your own energy. So it's about how to produce your own green energy and you don't have to rely on big uh, energy companies and pay monthly subscriptions. I mean, obviously everybody has to pay monthly for their electricity, right? So <laughs> this is a pretty unique offer that allows people to create their own energy. So it's pretty unique. People really like that. I have my other ad here I showed you the other time uh, in my last video. Uh, this one, it has 6,000 likes here and it has 3,000 shares. So people really love that and people really share that. And I also explained to you why I stopped running this offer and I also explained to you how you can start running this offer if you want. So I stopped because I'm now focusing on something else. So yeah, if you wanna check this out, uh, the, the other video, I'm gonna leave a link below, but today, I'm going to show you how to scale this even further, how to make a lot more money from your Facebook ads. So last time I showed you that I use interest. So the, um, the main interest that I use, this is my Facebook ad account. This is the 42,000 spent. Um, I use DIY, do it yourself interest. I use survival, people who are interested in survivalism, in survival, and people who are interested in living out of the grid. This is very appealing offer from ClickBank for people who uh, go into these three categories. Now, I also showed you that I spent 10,000 on the first category, 5,000 and 4,000 on the other one. But I also showed you that I spent the half of the money on lookalike audiences. So as you can see, this is named duplicated scale O. So I spent half of the budget on this um, particular interest and this is not interest this is a lookalike audience in facebook so i'm going to walk you through how to scale this campaign and how to scale your campaigns with lookalike audiences but not just a regular way i'm going to show you some kind of custom coded way to scale and get more profits uh, from your campaigns so um, this is basically in a nutshell again briefly we're promoting a offer here from Clickbank, which is called, if you type in the search box, power. And if you click here, uh, this is the, let me increase the gravity. Uh, this is the offer. And it's about uh, for people to create their own energy. We're using these weird ads, these weird looking ads. So let me show you. These weird looking ads with these weird looking images. We send people to a unique special designed quiz landing page so instead of uh, uh, sending people to a VSL or just a boring advertorial where they have to read, we're sending them here to this special quiz lender, which is very engaging and people are engaged and people have to fill this out. Let me fill this out for you. Then we're checking their results and now we're gonna see if they're qualified to create their free energy. Congratulations, they're qualified. And now they're sent to a third page with terms and conditions and they have to agree to the terms and condition if they want to create free energy. So it's pretty unique. Then they click I agree and they're sent to a hop link as you can see here from Clickbank. And this is a VSL from Clickbank where it explains how to create your own energy. And on the end, uh, you are prompt to buy a product, digital product if you want. So this is the whole process. Now, today we are going to focus on how to scale this and how to create your Facebook pixel and how to create lookalike audiences. Basically lookalike audiences in Facebook are 
people who are very similar to people who have already visited your website or purchased your product or, or opted in as a lead. So it's very, very powerful way to scale. Uh, this is my lookalike audience here. I have a bunch of them on this campaign. And here I have a bunch of ads. Um, let me see. So as you can see there, most of them are these weird looking image ads with the devices here. So let's go ahead and I'm going to show you how to create these audiences so you can scale your campaigns. Now, uh, I use ClickFunnels. ClickFunnels is a drag and drop website builder and here I host this unique quiz lender. And in my last video, I gave this quiz lender for free. Absolutely no charge for you to use it. So I might post a link in the description for you to download this uh, quiz if you want to your ClickFunnels. So once it's inside your ClickFunnels, you have to click edit page. So now we're going to start building our audiences. So we need to install the Facebook pixel. So let's, I already clicked it edit page and let's see. Um, so this is the quiz, right? And here in ClickFunnels, you can click settings and then tracking code. When you click tracking code, uh, this, uh, you need to paste your Facebook pixel here in the header code. So how you create your Facebook pixel? Let's come back to your ads manager. And from here you have to click uh, ads manager here on the left top and then all tools. And then you have to click here pixels under measurements and reports. So click pixels and I already have it open. And this is what you're going to see if you haven't created your pixel already. So I'm going to hit get started here. Uh, Facebook pixel track website activities. So you gotta click that. And yeah, this is my pixel name. So I'm going to create Ross Minch's pixel. That sounds okay. You don't need to put anything here. So I'm going to hit continue. And now I should get my pixel. Let's see. Perfect. So there we go. Now we need to click menu add pixel code to your website. And this is going to be a JavaScript. So there we are. Here we are. This is my Facebook pixel. So just click here and it's going to be automatically copied to your uh, clipboard. Come back to your click funnels and paste the header code here uh, into the header. Paste it here. And there you go. We have the page view. This is a pixel for Facebook to track page views. Basically, every time somebody lands on this landing page, Facebook will keep track on them. Later on, we can create lookalike audiences from people who have visited this page. And trust me, they work very, very well. So we for sure we need that. The next step is we need to copy this pixel again. It's already copied to my clipboard, but I'm going to copy it again. And we need to install this pixel on the our terms and condition page, the one I showed you, the one that people agree to um, watch the video VSL. So let's hit exit here and I'm going to get into the, it's called the bridge page. Once you download this funnel, you're going to see the bridge page here. So I'm going to click the bridge page and yeah, it, it can be a little bit advanced here, but um, uh, yeah, I mean, if you want, you have, you can stop the video and maybe watch it a couple of times to get it. So, but I want to, you know, provide you with the valuable information. So this is the proper way to be done. I can't, even if I want to make it easy for everybody, it's not going to work. So I'm, th this is how it's set up. So I'm sorry, <laughs> I can't like make it easier. So this is it. Now, this is the page when they land after they fill out the quiz and they have to click agree, right? So here we're going to place another pixel with a lead event or a custom event. Now for lead events, you can set up for an opt-in page, but we don't have an opt-in here. So I'm going to keep it as a lead. So tracking code and here I have a custom event, I guess. Yeah. So as you can see here, I have a custom code. This is my Facebook pixel. I have Facebook track, this is my custom event. So bridge page um, and then underscore call. This is my custom event. But for you, you can just uh, paste your original Facebook pixel, the one that I told you. So paste this one like that and then copy this FBQ square, uh, not square, but parentheses track page views, copy that. 
the entire row, copy this, put your cursor here, hit enter and control or command V and paste it again, move it to the left, double click page view and change it to lead. So now we're not only going to track page views, but we are also going to track people as they lead because now they proceeded further inside our funnel. So they're more likely to purchase the product. So we need to keep track on them. Or you can create a different event. So you can be like, uh, you can uh, rename this to whatever you want. Uh, your custom event, this might be um, uh, final page, let's say final underscore page like that whatever name you want to give it uh usually for the purpose of simplicity i would leave it to if you're just starting out i would leave it to leads and then we want to hit save now now we track people who land on this landing page so let me show you so now we track people who land on the first page on the quiz and then we track people who complete the quiz and land on the third page. Oops, yeah, this is not the one I expected because this I, I was working on that, so I need to go to. Um, let me show you. I'm hosting lots of lots of different stuff, so <laughs> uh, this is not the one I was working on. So this one, they fill out the quiz. We track people who land here, their page views, page views, and now they complete the quiz boom and here is the oops what happened um okay there you go so now when people land here we track them as a lead now they're more likely to buy the product next step i really encourage you to do the next step i i don't see a lot of people doing this but i track when people click this button so we want to tell facebook that this person not only have visited our first page not only that he has completed the quiz and landed on this one, but he also clicked this I agree button. So now we're going to very laser target these people. We're going to create very laser targeted audience, but people uh, from people who are very, very, very interested in our product. That's why I want to keep track on everything. So now we need to create a custom button to tell Facebook, hey, Facebook, this person clicked I agree and they're very, very interested in our product. So how you do that? Inside ClickFunnels, you can't do it, unfortunately, with this button. I don't know why. I've tried many times, even years ago, and still it's not working. So what you need to do in ClickFunnels here is um, click, uh, hover over the button and click the plus sign. And we need to add a custom a CSS JavaScript code. So type here in the search box, custom, uh, custom JS HTML. So click that, leave it like it is. Next thing, what we need to do, we need to add a button and how you create a button. So I'm going to delete this button. I don't need this one anymore. So we need to delete this button. So basically this custom JavaScript is going to be our button. So let's save this and let's see how it looks like. When you open this page, you should not see anything. So let's preview that. It should be empty. Okay, now it's empty. Now we need to add the button. How you add a custom button? Well, usually I like to Google stuff. So you can Google and this is how I do it pretty much all the time. I don't have to invent something from scratch. So I type HTML button or actually button CSS. That's it. We need button CSS and let's see, I've visited a bunch of sites here. So this one, you know, when you type button CSS, I land on this. Um, I found this website to be pretty cool. So we're going to click a six simple C, uh, CTA button styles with hover effects. So not only that these buttons are custom made, but they're pretty, pretty cool. And I don't know if you are aware of that, but when you have some cool design on your website, people tend to convert more. I know, I know you heard that and I've heard that too, that ugly websites perform better. Yes, I've tested it, but not in all cases. In some cases they perform better, in some cases they don't. So it depends on what you're selling. So here we have, if we scroll down, so basically look at that, this is our button. So we're gonna get the same button by copying this CSS and HTML code. 
So first we need to copy the HTML. So this is the HTML, copy this in the div tags. We have a tag div, closing tag div, copy this, come back to your um, and click funnels, click again custom JavaScript, open the code editor and paste it here, paste here. So this is our code editor and then my Siri, I don't know why my Siri activated. <laughs> That's weird, look at that. It just got activated. That's weird, man. Hey Siri, shut up. <laughs> That's so weird, man. Anyways, so um, we need to um, then copy something. We need to copy the CSS. So basically this is the HTML. Let's save this and see how it looks. Uh, save this. I know it's a bit of work, but trust me, you put the work in the beginning, you're gonna um, make a lot more profits, a lot more money afterwards. So it's really worth it. It's worth it to put all of this um, effort and time and work. So let's refresh this and we should see a button here or at least some kind of a button. Okay, can you see it? It's this one, ugly looking, add a call to action here. So <laughs> this is our button. Don't worry, we're going to style it to look pretty amazing. So we're going to copy the next piece of the code the CSS, so button CSS. Now we need to copy this code, copy this, come back to your uh, ClickFunnels, open the JavaScript again, open code. Now we need, you can't paste this CSS just like that. You need to, so if I paste it like that, it's not going to work, you see, it, it doesn't work. So what you need to do is you need to type uh, greater than smaller than this is a tag and we need to name this tag style style and then we need to create the same one smaller than greater than but this time dash style so this is the closing tag and then in between them put your cursor hit enter a couple of times and then paste the code here so let's paste it here oh what is that did i i didn't copy it what I needed. Oh yeah, I copied the whole thing. So we need just to copy this part. All right, copy that, come back and paste it in between the style tags. This is for the CSS. So paste here, perfect. Now we need to copy the hover effect. So uh, we need a hover effect if you want to, but I usually do it. So button hover CSS. So we need to copy this button CSS. So copy that, come back here and paste this one below the first CSS. So somewhere right, somewhere around here, paste that and voila, uh, we should be ready to go. And actually I'm going to rename this at call to action to um, be careful just to rename the text. Uh, I'm going to rename to I agree. Remember this is supposed to be my text, I agree. So let's hit save and refresh the page to see if this bluish something is already a pretty nice button. So let's refresh that page and see, yeah, oh yes. So there we go, we have a pretty nice looking button here. We can change the color, we can change everything, but this is, as you can see, a pr pretty cool looking button. Now, uh, you can change the color by going to, Siri, what the hell, man? Siri just turned on again, like, shut up. I don't care about the weather. Let me turn my airplane mode. Sorry, guys. Well, it happens sometimes. I don't know why. Anyways, let's come back. Now, now that we have the button, we need to install the Facebook pixel inside the button so we keep track on people when they click this button. So how you do that? Now, as you can see on the right side, uh, here is my Facebook uh, tag inspection tool. So if I click this, I can see my page view is is green, my lead is green, and I don't have any other things. So what I'm gonna put here is I might use add to cart or again, special custom event from Facebook, but for the purpose of the simplicity of the video, we're going to use add to cart. So basically when people click, I agree, Facebook, I'm going to tell Facebook, hey Facebook, this is basically an add to cart event. So let's do, let's go to, um, 
So if I click, by the way, if I click, I agree now, nothing is going to happen. Facebook will automatically detect that something has been clicked. So see what happens now. Let me show you. Just three events right now. We have three events here. And when I click the button, nothing is gonna happen or actually I'm going to be redirected somewhere. If I come back here, Facebook here, see, now I have four events instead of three. Facebook will see, you see, it says button click automatically detected. But when I click it, this doesn't send, it's not going to send data back to Facebook. So now I need to install the Facebook pixel to make this turn on green when somebody clicks the button and Facebook keeps track on that. So how you do that? Now open a new tab and here I'm going to type Facebook button uh, fires, uh, actually Facebook pixel on a button, button click, there you go. Facebook pixel on a button click and the guys from Facebook has document, documented how it's done. So I'm going to click, uh, let's see, advanced Facebook pixel. Let's click this one and see if it's the right one. Yep, it's this one. So scroll down to, we don't need that. Scroll down to, 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 to oh, there we go. Tracking clicks on a buttons. What we need now, we need this, um, we need this piece of the code. So we don't need the first one. We need this one below. So copy this like that, copy this, and we're going to paste this below our button. So here, custom JavaScript, open this, and I'm going to, let's move that here and give it a bit of a space and I'm going to paste this pixel here, paste it. And as you can see, it's already add to cart, all right? So Facebook now is going to track people when they click but the button, uh, is going to track them as add to cart. You can change, of course, that if you want to something custom, you can say button clicked like that, or you can say, I agree, I agree, or oh, actually we always put underscore, I agree uh, button, something like that. So let's leave it to I agree, let's say, I agree. Uh, and this is gonna be our custom event. Now you need to change something to fire this pixel. In here where it says var button document add to cart button, you need to change this to uh, let's say something that you have, uh, you can understand. Uh, let's say uh, button, button one. So let's change this to button one, copy this button one, copy this and scroll to the top of your uh, uh, custom code. And here where it says class button count, we need to um, in front of this class type the following, you need an ID. So we need ID. So the ID is ID <laughs> equals and then quotation, quotation, quotation. There we go. And in between the quotation, paste your uh, name that I just created, button one, button one. There we go. So now if I click save, and this should work now, let's try. Now Facebook should understand when somebody has clicked this button. So let's three, let's see. So let's refresh. Remember this one, uh, the add to cart, the button clicked, is, it wasn't green. All of these, they were green. This one did, uh, wasn't green. So let's refresh this page and see if it works. Okay, now again, we have three events. Let's check again, leads, page views. And if I click this button, fingers crossed, it should, let's come back. It should have fired the Facebook pixel. Let's see it. And yes, it's I agree button clicked, but it gives me warning. This pixel is not with any product catalog. Okay, yes. Yeah. So basically it's already, it's firing. As you can see, it gives me warning because I haven't created the custom event inside Facebook. So yeah, leave it to add to cart. I'm going to just uh, move it back to, change it back to add to cart. So let's copy this. Um, so it, 
tracks properly. I mean, it's going to track anyways, but uh, this is more advanced stuff. So leave this to add to cart. Where was it? This one, I agree button, leave it to add to cart. That's it. Let's come back. Uh, oops. Let's see what we have now if it works. I mean, it, it's already working, but it gives me warning because I don't have this in my catalog. So let's refresh this page and see if the add to cart is going to fire green. Okay, first check, page views, leads. Let's click the button, close this page and come back here and see if we have a green light. Okay, add to cart has fired, but it still gives me warning why this pixel is not paired with any product catalog. Please associate this pixel with catalog. Yeah, anyways, I mean, I don't have the catalog, but you don't you don't need the catalog anyways. Uh, let's see if I can edit this. Ah, by the way, I forgot, I'm sorry. Yeah, I forgot to delete some part of the code. So when you scroll down, you need content ID. So it asks me for a catalog because I have content category and content name. So we don't need this. I don't have products. I don't have a e-commerce store. So we're going to delete all of these like that. Delete this. We don't. We don't need this. We don't track catalogs or product IDs. And for value, uh, let's say this is just a dollar. Just give some value here. Just dollar and one dollar zero zero like that. Let's try now. Save because Facebook now when somebody clicks the button, they try to find the the catalog ID, and I don't have any catalogs. I'm not Amazon. So, <laughs> anyways, let's refresh. Last try, last try, let's see. Click the button, close this page, come back. And yes, finally it's green. All right, folks, I'm doing live videos, so it happens, but it's good that happens so you know <laughs> what to delete. So now it fires, page views, leads, and add to cart has fired. Now we have three data points that we send to Facebook to track our people, our customers, and to make better predictions and so we can create custom audiences based on these uh, these uh, people based on from the data so what you need to do go to advanced and as you saw delete everything up to fbq track so delete content name delete content category delete content ids and content type so delete all of that and leave only value the currency and the fbq track add to cart and actually right now I think my custom event is going to work if we go back yeah let, let's try to create a custom event so we need this is not the add to cart this is our custom event so I'm going to rename this to let's say uh, I agree I agree button so this is a custom event so let's try to fire this custom event save and Let's come back here, refresh this page and see if it's going to be fired. So again, page views leads. Let's see, I click this button, close that, come back here. And yes, there you go. So I agree button has been fired. There you go. Uh, Facebook pixel error, click to click. What is that? Facebook pixel. Custom audience pixel ID missing. Yeah, I mean, I have to create that, but that's okay. We don't we don't need that. So I agree button has fired. As you can see, my custom event has fired. This is green, this is green, and this is green. Perfect. Now, what what's next? Now that we're now creating audiences, now that we feed the beast with a lot of data points, uh, last thing you need to do is come back here and you need to paste your ClickBank affiliate link, right? So you need to send people somewhere when they click the button. So open this, open the code editor, and then where it says um, href here, cref, delete what's inside and basically type your hop link. So I don't know what ho your hop link is going to look like, but for example, you can say HTTP column um, and then actually HTTP uh, slash slash uh, column and then clickbank.com and then whatever your ID is going to be and then save that 
and this is going to redirect people to your affiliate link from Clickbank. Oh man, that was intense, right? So let's try one more time and should be we should be redirected to Clickbank now. No, the page we're looking for doesn't exist. Uh, why? Let's let's copy that. Let's just type Clickbank clickbank.com uh, and copy the entire URL come back here it should be it should fire man what's what is going on dude why you're not firing my oh I'm stupid <laughs> this shouldn't be here HTTPS like that let's try just to copy this link a craft HTTPS yes so now it should be should be working so HTTPS column and then forward slash forward slash and then URL whatever URL we want save this and uh, then try last time let's see I agree now we should be redirected to Clickbank and yes we are here we are so Clickbank and of course you have to, uh, you have to put your uh, hop link right um, maybe last thing you need to do is to change the color uh, red is pretty bright I usually use yellow and kind of orange buttons so how you do that is press shift command and C here shift command and C or shift control and C and hover over the button so it becomes blue like that click that on the right side in Google Chrome you see where it's the red one the red square click this red square and the color scheme is going to pop up I'm going to select to the left I'm gonna move this to the left and as you can see now we have kind of yellowish orange orange button so there you go like that and now you have to copy this hex code copy this double click or triple click copy this code because now if I refresh the page my button is going to turn red again so we need to paste what we've copied inside click funnels so come back here custom JavaScript open the code editor and in the CSS style CSS where it says background just double click this delete delete this one and paste your the code you just copied so paste this there you go save and now if I refresh this page let's see if we refresh this it should be orange yep orange button there we go you can play around with the font and with the size but uh, I don't want to make this video any longer <laughs> it's already uh, I think it's getting too long but yeah so this is how you create uh, you ha this is how you feed Facebook now that you have all the data points you have to go to Facebook once this is done okay continue this is where I created the pixel click that and after you start getting some data inside Facebook after you start making some sales here you can click create audience and then I can click lookalike audience or first actually you have to create custom audience so you click custom audience to create a custom audience converge you must first assign your pixel to an ad account okay I don't have an ad account uh, associated with the new pixel but once you set this up it's going to ask you to create custom audience and I'm going to create custom audiences from the button click from my page views and from purchases and how you create custom audience from purchases well inside Clickbank you can set up your Facebook pixel as well so you have more data points and also when I promote personally when I promote something from Clickbank I always 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 send an email to the vendor so whatever product I'm going to promote for example this easy power plan they always have affiliate page so if you go to the affiliate page it's way better to get in touch with the people who own the offer instead of just promoting like that from Clickbank so here they have the affiliate page and usually on the bottom they have contact us every time okay there you go so usually I would copy their email and I would send them an e uh, I would send them an email 
with hey this is ross i really like to promote your offer can you guys place my pixel on your thank you page so now <clears throat> i'm excuse me not only that i create i collect data from my landing pages but i also collect uh, data from people when they land on the landing page um, from the actual vendor so my pixel is going to be fired when i when people land here and when people purchase the product right so let's close this so yeah folks uh if you enjoy what you're seeing right now give this video a thumbs up as i know when i see people liking the videos i create similar videos uh let me know what you think in the comments below and let me know uh, if this helps you out with your campaigns and i will meet you in the the next video uh, thanks for watching i appreciate your time cheers adios